916, positivity, motivation, never settle for average. You know how we do it over here. And I just want to share some for all you aspiring influencers, YouTubers, social media people, a couple of ways if you want to catapult yourself to social media fame, these are some things that you can do that will elevate your game. Lie about your past. Try to sensationalize your childhood, your street credibility, um, your accolades, um, the amount of money you made, um, the amount of women you slept with, um, how tough you are, um, how hard you grew up. If you can make up stories in those categories that are uh, over dramatic that will create sympathy, empathy, envy, um, uh, I guess desire, people will follow you. People will follow you because they've been programmed to be attracted to those things by design. If you're honest, if you've never been a tough guy, you're um, somebody who's just working, trying to figure it out, you're um, of high value and character, you maybe haven't slept with a bunch of women, Maybe you have a beat up a bunch of people. You know, you're not a tough guy. You haven't shot anybody. Um, you're considered a square. You're con considered corny. Um, you may have a harder time building your social media platform, but at the end of the day, the people that do follow you will follow you because you're sincere and you're true in your character. But on social media, most people don't care if they're true in their character. You see people and they put on an act when the camera's on behind closed doors. They're nothing like who they proclaim to be when the camera's on. Um, there's so many, you know, in the windows that go into playing this media person. And um, I always said, man, if I was uh, better at lying and, and, and uh, creating, you know, uh, 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 more of a, a, a sensationalized backstory, um, my followers would be, you know, up into the millions right now, but that's not who I am. That's not in my character. You know, uh, I'm not going to glorify like I was in, you know, prison and carrying a big shank and moving cell phones in my booty, you know, uh, you know, you know, uh, sleeping with guards and, and knocking niggas out. I was, I wasn't doing it. I wasn't doing that. I was trying to stay out the way. I was praying to God that I didn't have to hurt anybody and get more time. I already had a decade. I didn't want to have to catch time and then fight to get that time off because I would I would try to wipe a person out if they, if they tried to violate me or do anything to me. So I wasn't trying to catch any more time. So I put out a different vibe and um, my focus was helping other people with law so that they could get out early and during that time trying to help myself get out early. So I wasn't no super criminal. 
super thug. I've been through some stuff. I have seen some stuff. You know, there's a lot of things I don't even talk about that I've done in my past I'm not proud of, but I'm not going to glorify it. You know, there's a whole, um, you know, period of my life where I was just, you know, slinging, slinging the hammer, you know, and I don't really get into that a whole lot. I've talked about it a little bit, but I don't brag about it because it's not something I would tell a young man to get into as far as a career choice to uh, make a living and then, you know, going into the future, you know, trying to figure out how to have um, a normal relationship. Another thing that will catapult you to social media stardom is having a, a very large ego, you know, being a narcissist. If you're comfortable being a narcissist, if you're comfortable, um, with a, you know, just an extreme ego where you can belittle other people on a regular, you can make other people feel like they're a piece of the shit, um, make them feel like they're less accomplished, that they're um, subpar, that they need you. You can be very successful on social media. People will pay you a lot of money to be berated in a way where they feel dehumanized but uplifted at the same time. It's almost like a push-pull. You know, when you go to the gym, you do push exercise, you know, with the with the chest, and then you do a uh, maybe a, a pull with a with a back motion. But the push-pull, people people like that. They, you know, it's like you talk greasy to them, and then, you know, you talk about um, how much money you have or what they don't have, and they want to be around you because they want somehow to get that that ego to rub off on them so they can talk down to the next person and continue the cycle of a narcissistic, egotistical, um, it's all about me behavior. So that's another way that you can um, really boost your social media. Um, investing in locations and um, luxury cars in your, in your videos, you know, um, bragging about how many you have or, um, you know, how, you know, what you, what you drive all the time, which, you know, it's cool. I'm a car guy. I love, you know, cars, but I'm, I'm really a car guy. I, I'm passionate about people who are into cars, who like to take drives, who like to travel, you know, to pull up to a restaurant or pull up somewhere and just get out the car and, you know, be, you know, talk about, you got that, but you really don't know nothing about the car, the history, um, what the car represents, why you bought the car, um, tells me that you're just, you just got the car or, you know, you're at somebody's rental property because it's what people you think they want to see. You know, a lot of people get, you know, buy things because they think that's what everybody else expects, expects them to, um, have, you know, whether it's, uh, a particular luxury car that they really know nothing about, but they've seen somebody or heard somebody talking about it and it's hot, so they went and bought it, but they don't know how many cylinders it has, the horsepower, they don't know um, what the car is capable of, they've never really taken the car on a drive, they don't really um, and you know go out to any type of car events as far as relating to the car, they just got the car because it makes them look good, which is cool too, but that's another way you can boost your social media is by uh, leasing, or if you have the money, go purchase you a luxury car that's popular on social media. Just, you know, um, look at the most uh, YouTube car or the most popular car on social media, get that car, um, rent an Airbnb, or if you have a friend in real estate, um, you know, use that listing while it's vacant as your, as your, your house. And that will put you on uh, another level as far as people want to follow you because of what they think is your success. And maybe you do have that success. Um, another thing is coming up with a um, coming up with a, a course or a class where you're gonna, you know, show people how to better themselves. You know, you're gonna sell them on. Um, somehow they're going to be like you. And if they take your class, they will learn what made you who you are. 
which will help them get further in life because right now they're they're low life piece of shit because they're not doing the right things and that's why they're in your class. You want to constantly make them feel as though they cannot accomplish anything without your assistance. And if you can convince them of that, they'll pay a lot of money, come to your class, and even though you aren't really telling them all the ins and outs on how you got your success, they will take your class because they feel that you're upstanding and that you really care about them. And if they believe you really care about them, no matter how bad you talk to them or how much you charge for your class, they will come. And all you got to do is put a couple of real ones around you. You know, people who have really been in the trenches, who have really um, made it happen from the ground up. And those people will give you credibility, which will also support your class structure. And you will be able to monetize that class, that course, whatever the program is you're selling. And if you talk loud, you know, of course, you know, sh take your shirt off, you know, show your show your abs, um, you know, maybe do a couple burpees, you know, push ups, you know, whatever the case may be, something physical. People who have never been in any physical activity or altercations will be highly impressed with that and they will buy your course. You can make a lot of money doing that. And if you got somebody who can automate it where the class has a, um, like a AI that, that calls people or texts people and they feel like you are really looking out for them, they will buy your class and you'll make a lot of money. So that's another way that you can, you know, dial yourself in on social media and become very successful. Um, another, another thing is your appearance, um, whether it's the tattoos, whether it's, um, the way you talk, um, your, your, the way you, you, you angle yourself into the camera, all those things will help attract a certain, um, demographic of people who are impressed with those things. You know, the, the, a lot of the tattoos, you know, um, the more prominent it, 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 it creates a, you know, a sense of, oh man, this person is somebody of a status, maybe of authority, maybe a position. And, you know, it makes somebody want to align themselves with that person, you know, and, uh, that's, um, another major prop that doesn't cost you a whole lot that you could invest in because the more tattoos and, you know, the more you look like somebody who can maybe be a gangster, you know, somebody who's a, a, a street guy, um, nerds, people who have never been in any trouble, they will want to follow this person, you know, combined with all the other props I mentioned earlier, the car, the house, you know, the talk, the backstory, the... I've been, you know, I've been to jail, I've done this, or I've shot this guy, or I, you know, did this to this guy. All those things will um, build up along with them. Don't forget, you got to have the ego. You got to have the ego and you got to be a stone cold narcissist. You cannot care about anybody but yourself. It doesn't matter who you screw over, who, um, you know, actually believes in you. You just, you know, everybody you, you can, you get over on them. And you just keep getting over, getting over, and eventually you'll get a million subscribers, you'll get a million followers, you'll make a million dollars, and at the end of the day, you just gotta remember to look over your look over your shoulder and watch your back because you never know when somebody's gonna bust your head. You never know when somebody's gonna call you out and expose your ass for all the bullshit, whether it's an ex girlfriend, whether it's a family member, whether it's a client, whether it's a, a fan, whether it's a customer. But you will be social media famous. And, um, you know, this is across the board. You see, you know, people exposing a lot of these guys who are teaching these, whether it's real estate, whether it's um, um, how to be a, 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 a mind coach or mental coach, or I don't know, some of these courses they're selling for crazy amounts of money, be a fake Navy SEAL, you know, people are selling all this stuff. And I know guys who train Navy SEALs for real. You know, and I show them this shit and they just laugh, man. I know real, I've interviewed major hitters, real Marines, real guys who have trained with Navy SEALs, guys who've been to Afghanistan, guys who've been injured in combat. 
And, you know, they don't even, they just, you know, they don't even go that route. They are on other, you know, a whole nother page. But, you know, you got guys selling all this stuff and, you know, yeah, it makes them money. And I'm not hating. I'm just telling you, this is what you guys need to do if you want to do your social media. Go through and listen to this video a few times. Take notes. Figure out which angle you're going to do, which tattoos you're going to get, which car you're going to lease or rent or whatever, which homie you know or person you know has access to a really nice house or backdrop film your videos with the right backdrop you know maybe get you a couple hot um girls that you know will um kind of be props on your shoulders or make you look good or you know add to your story and you know pump your ego up just be a straight asshole talk shit to people you know change your voice sound really tough and, you know, brag about who you beat up, the people you, you know, you jacked and, and, you know, you've been in shoot, all that stuff, all the stuff you hear them talk about in gangster rap. If you could talk about all that and, you know, stand proud, you'll have a million followers on social media. Go to BigHurt916.com, pick up some merch, subscribe, share the channel. You know, I'm going to keep it 100. I didn't start off as a bad kid. Officially, I only got one real spanking my entire life. My mom did the best a 14-year-old could do, raising me with love and instilling values that will last a lifetime. I was a straight-A student and lived to make her happy. So how did I go astray? A horrible stepdad that stole my self-worth and invoked fear turned me into a person that I struggled to overcome. From skateboarding to selling drugs, Gang banging in the juvenile hall, I got caught the same way many young promising men get caught up. I struggled to find my identity, getting mixed up in shootouts, crime, and the adult entertainment industry. This roller coaster continued as I juggled college, hustling, and Hollywood, eventually catching a federal bank robbery case. I found redemption in prison while serving a 120 month federal sentence and came out a man on a mission. I became a social media influencer with over half a billion views on YouTube and a life coach mentoring people all over the world. This is my journey against all odds. Are you tired of smelling funky? Have you washed your ass? Go to BigHurtNet16.com and get to Nutsack Run.